On health, more than 450 African healthcare providers, policymakers, and researchers from Africa and Asia came together at the fourth edition of the MAC Africa Asia Luminary in Cairo, Egypt, to engage on how to build healthcare capacity in the continent. The forum focused on diabetes, fertility, oncology, cardiology, women's health, and research. Kitian's Sharon Momani attended the forum and filed the following report. According to the World Health Organization, one in every four couples in developing countries suffers from infertility, this resulting in great social stigmatization and the need to discuss the availability and access to fertility care in Africa. This formed one of the crucial discussions at the MAC Africa Asia Luminary Conference that took place in Cairo. The more than 450 delegates present at the forum included African healthcare providers, policymakers, and researchers from Africa and Asia, as well as experts from across the world. Rachel Cutting is an embryologist. What other fertility care and solutions are we seeing especially uh, available to resource poor society? There are lots of different options available. There's very simple treatment, so a lady should produce an egg every month and sometimes she doesn't because her hormones might not be working quite right and she just needs some medicines to get her ovulating, which is when the egg's released, at the right time. And that can be coincided with a very simple insemination of her husband's sperm and that gives a good chance of pregnancy. And that's very simple and easy to do. There may be times when you need more complicated treatment, such as IVF, if the, for example, if the sperm quality is not very good with the partner or the, the lady's got blocked tubes. In a special feature dubbed Empty Cribs by KTN News, 58-year-old Grace Kambini Minayo shared how distraught her life had been as in her nine years of marriage, she was unable to have children. Her husband and relatives repeatedly abused her and finally kicked her out. As uyo banangu akaniambia, mimi na wewe kisha. Kama unakatalia kwangu, baba yako na mama yako wamekufa. Na kama wamekufa, uende kwa kaburi yao. Useme, uite mama, baba. Kaburi yako, kaburi ya, ya wazazi yako itafunguka, uingia ndani. Nikaona kweli ni uchungu. Mimi nikaona hata huyu kama huyu mwanaume tunalala na yeye pamoja kwa kitanda anaweza kuninyonga. Grace started a small business to support herself in Kibra, but she would often sleep hungry. Her saving grace was when Mark more than a mother empowerment program, which seeks to empower infertile women across Africa, reached out to her. Lakini kutoka wakati Mark wamenishika, sijagonjeka tena. Hapo ah, nimesema asante sana. It is because of women such as Grace that Mark More Than a Mother sought to strengthen partnership with academia and international fertility societies, as well as engaging on a framework to provide medical education and training for healthcare providers during the fourth edition of Mark Africa Asia Luminary in Cairo, Egypt. The first ladies of Central African Republic, Gambia, Chad, Niger, and Republic of Guinea were announced as ambassadors of Mark More Than a Mother campaign in their countries. It gives me a great pleasure to welcome you all in Cairo and to join Merck Foundation during this important occasion as they mark a new milestone of their partnership with Africa, focusing on innovative healthcare solutions, building healthcare and scientific research capacity, and empowering people on STEM. During the event, Africa Fertility Society awarded Professor Dr. Frank Stangenberg Haverkamp, chairman of the executive board of Mark KG, for his contribution to empower infertile women through Mark More Than a Mother campaign in Africa. During the conference, Mark KGA Germany also launched their Mark Foundation, a non-profit company. Welcome to Mark Africa Asia Luminary today. And welcome to the Merck Foundation, which are, we are launching today on this prestigious platform to you, our partners. It's the first year of Merck Foundation, which is the first foundation owned by Merck KGAA uh, Germany.
The sessions at the conference focused on diabetes, fertility, oncology, cardiology, women health and research. CEO of Mark Foundation, Dr. Rasha Kellej, stating that the aim of the conference is to improve disease management, early detection and prevention, build healthcare and research capacity, and improve access to innovative and equitable healthcare solutions in developing countries. Sharon Momani, KTN News, Cairo, Egypt.